What's going on guys? Chris here with Tactical Outdoorsman and today we have some products from our friends over at Laser Ammo. They were nice enough to send us over a Laser Pet 2 and a Shore Strike. So what we're going to do is do a quick tabletop review of these and I'm going to give you my thoughts and opinions. So stick around. Alright guys, we're back. So, let's jump down to a tabletop review and take a look at what we're dealing with. Alright, so, uh, let's take a couple of minutes and go over at a high level of some of the features of what this guy does. Um, before we get into that, uh, I want to talk a little bit about the uh, Shore Strike, which is the uh, laser cartridge. And this laser cartridge comes with a few things. Uh, we'll get a close-up of this here in a second, but uh, what we have in here is the uh, laser cartridge, a 9mm adapter, a 45mm adapter, a 40 uh, caliber adapter, a 223 adapter, and this little piece uh, goes on the front of the laser for the 223. So with 223 you'll have the three pieces together. Uh, you've got a battery. And then for handgun, uh, you've got this hollowed out rod that will go down the center of the barrel and it comes with a screw on uh, red tip to put on the front which will stick out the front of your barrel and your handgun so that you know that the barrel does not have any live ammunition in it. Alright, uh, so let's talk about this guy here. Um, so uh, this guy is the receiver for the laser. Um, incidentally, I didn't mention that the uh, laser on here is an IR laser, so it's not a visible red laser, uh, but this is the IR version. And this is the uh, Laser Pet 2, which is compatible with the IR. So just make sure that you check compatibility before you buy any of these products. Um, all right, so this receiver um, is pretty cool. It comes with six built-in functions. Um, so the first function that this thing performs is um, classified as P1, which is the first program. And what this program will do is just count your hits. So um, every time you uh, fire your weapon with the laser cartridge in it and you strike the sensor here, you'll just get a count on the LED display here that tells you how many times that you've hit it. So that's the most basic function. Now the P2, uh, program two, is a shot timer. So um, as you see, the timer starts and it won't stop until you place one hit onto the sensor. The P3 program is a countdown timer, so uh, it'll count down, it'll chirp, and the timer will start, and you'll try to place as many hits onto the sensor as you can before your time runs out. And at the end, it'll give you a count, uh, count out reading on the LED display of how many hits you had. Alright, uh, the next setting is P4, and that's the one that we're calling uh, the double tap setting. So what'll happen is you'll enter the P4 mode. Um, once the cycle begins, it'll chirp like you just heard, and you'll get these uh, flashing LED display here. And the way to activate the timer is to place your first shot in the sensor. That'll activate the timer. Uh, you'll perform your reload or your tap rack, and then place your second round, uh, sorry, your uh, second shot onto the sensor here and it'll tell you what the time between your first and second round were so you can judge how quick your reload or your tap rack was. Next is the P5 setting. Uh, so this is basically just a time elapsed setting and you take as many shots as you can within that period and it'll tell you the time between your first and second shot, between your first and third shot, first and fourth shot, first and fifth shot, and so on. Right, the P6 program is going to be 
uh, multiple shot split timer. So uh, you'll get your chirp to start your drill and then uh, within the time allotted, you'll place as many shots as you can onto the sensor and at the end of the cycle, it will display the split time between each of those shots. Now there's a couple of, a couple of settings in here. Um, so you have a SO setting, which is the sound. So SO1 indicates sound on, SO, uh, SO0 indicates that the sound is off. Okay. Uh, you've got a PA setting, and the PA setting is basically the countdown to the drill start time. So le leading up to the drill that you're going to start, uh, you can change uh, how long of a countdown before that drill start is going to be. Uh, whether it be two seconds, three seconds, four, five, six seconds. Okay. Uh, the next setting is going to be RU, and the RU is going to be for the time drills. And this is going to indicate how long or how many seconds you want the time drills to last. Okay. So the next setting is the HI setting, which is the hits setting. So for the programs that um, end after a finite amount of hits, um, that's where you control the number of hits that you want that drill to end in. All right. So let's take a little bit of a closer look at how to install the laser cartridge uh, into your handgun. All right, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna use my Gen 4 uh, Glock 19, and we're gonna install that laser cartridge into here. All right, uh, first things first, uh, we need to assemble the laser cartridge for the caliber uh, weapon that we're gonna be using. In this case, we're gonna be using a nine millimeter so um, I'm going to take the base and the 9mm adapter and we're also going to need this little blue battery here. Okay, so let's get that assembled. Alright, uh, so here's the main body of the laser cartridge and you're going to take this little blue battery and this thing is going to go with the flat side facing up. So we'll place that in there and then we're just going to take the 9mm adapter, place it right on top and screw it on. Okay. Alright, so um, this little laser cartridge here, so there's two settings that this can be on. Uh, the first setting is going to be the um, laser setting and the second setting is going to be for uh, bore sighting. So uh, the way that you toggle through that is you hold this little plastic button down on the back here and you watch through the front of the laser. Um, one blink means it's in the target mode, two blinks means it's in the bore sighting mode. So um, I've already got this set up for the laser target mode so we're going to go ahead and drop this cartridge in here and I'm going to go ahead and drop my slide so that laser cartridge is now chambered you don't have to worry about the cartridge ejecting uh, there's no lip on it nothing for the ejector to catch uh, so when you rack that cartridge is just going to stay in there uh, now one of the other things that I want to do is I want to use this little hollowed out barrel post and I'm going to remove this little black section here for the time being. Uh, reason being is that this Glock is only a four inch barrel and I don't need that extra length. <clears throat> now I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this right down into the barrel here and I'm going to put the there's two thread two threaded sides on here. There's a long threaded side right here and then there's a very small threaded piece on this end. The small threaded piece is what's going to go down into the barrel and that's going to screw into the front of that laser cartridge. So you just screw it in, uh, not too much pressure, um, just a little bit. Then once you get that in, uh, you're going to take this little red cap and thread it onto the front of that. So essentially uh, what we're doing 
is we're ensuring that there is nothing in that chamber and that the laser cartridge is in fact what's in there and this is going to signify that the firearm is safe. Now some of the other cool things that this kit comes with is these little inserts. Um, so it comes with uh, five of these guys and they slide down into the opening here onto the laser pet and gives you uh, different targets to shoot that. So this one here would simulate a silhouette target. Turn that around, probably probably easier for you to see it this way. Okay. Then you have a half inch bullseye. A coating on here that it's coming with. Then you have a half inch bullseye if you really want to challenge yourself. You've got a one inch bullseye. And I'm putting these in here backwards with the black side facing you. Uh, just because I think it's easier to see on camera, but the front side of these is actually gray. All right. You've got a another bullseye here, which simulates that of a crosshair with a red dot in the middle. And then you just have a regular scoring target. Okay, so pretty cool. You can swap these things out. Uh, you can challenge yourself a little more if you want by putting these uh, silhouettes and the one inch circles or the half inch circles and uh, moving the laser pet further away to challenge yourself more and to work on your accuracy. So uh, another cool little feature about this guy here. Also, uh, I didn't specifically mention this but it does come with a stand so uh, you've seen it sitting here on the stand but uh, this is actually two different pieces this unscrews from here and if you don't want to use the stand there is a little spot in the back to where you can put a screw or a nail on the wall and mount this up on the wall if you wanted to do that so all kinds of neat little options with this thing And these little targets will store in this little mesh pouch right here. So a nice compact little setup. You get a nice little zip pouch here. And that's it folks. That's all that you need to practice your shooting anywhere that you want. At home, traveling in a hotel room, in your bedroom, wherever 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 you want all right let's take it back up top all right so this firearm is good to go so I'm gonna get that laser pet over here and I'm gonna show you how some of these functions work so right now uh, this is set up on uh, the first program and the first program is just a shot timer so what this does is every time you place a round on target it'll just count for every time that you hit the target okay super simple all right um, now we're gonna go to the second setting here All right, the next setting is P2. That program is just a shot timer. So you'll have a countdown, it'll beep, it'll start a counter, and then the counter won't stop until you place your first round on target. Okay, and it'll just tell you how long it took you to engage 
on target that first time. So, boom, okay? And that's it, it'll automatically reset and it'll keep going. So you could build on that. And then Now the next setting here is P3. And this is a countdown hit timer. So it'll start a clock and it'll count down. And at the end of it, it'll tell me how many hits I got on target within that countdown period. Okay. Uh, the next setting is gonna be the uh, P4 setting. And the P4 is the double tap. This is the one for the reloads or the tap rack. So we'll start, shoot, shoot, okay? I know you guys might find this a little comical that I'm sitting right next to the thing and I'm missing it, but I'm <laughs> kind of facing the target towards you and facing the gun backwards and uh, it's not as easy as it seems. Um, but uh, nonetheless, um, it'll start. You'll see its uh, numbers are blinking here. The counter won't start until I place my first round. Place my first round, the clock starts and it won't stop until I place my second round. Okay? So that's the uh, that's the fourth program. All right, next program is P5, and this one's going to be the multiple shot timer for an elapsed time. Um, the way that this drill works is uh, this is the one where you can set how many shots you want the drill to last for. So I think this one is set for six shots. So I'll take six shots. Okay. So timer stops at six and then it'll go through the LED and tell me what the elapsed time was between my first and second shot, first and third, first and fourth, first and fifth, and so on. So that is the P5 setting. Uh, next is gonna be the P6. So this is a multiple shot split time. So uh, basically you're gonna get the start chirp and you're gonna place your shots on the sensor, six shots, and it'll display here what the split times were between each shot, okay? So that's what the six settings do. If my initial explanation didn't make sense, hopefully uh, that helped you out. All right, so now let's switch this over from nine millimeter and go over to the 223. And we'll see how that works out. So. I'm just taking off this back cap here and I'm going to put on the uh, back cap that is labeled 223 so we'll just we'll just drop everything and then we'll uh, start over so we'll go ahead and screw this guy on all right and then uh, in this package here, you have that one little rod there that is to go on the front of the 223. So let's see if we can get that, get that out of here. All right. All right, so uh, this little post is going to go and get screwed on to the front of the laser cartridge here. Boom. All right, so uh, we're gonna get that and put it into the chamber here. So let's just do a real quick safety check. Uh, nothing in this magazine, and you probably can't see from there, but there's nothing in the chamber. Empty. Some dirt, because I haven't cleaned it in a while. All right, so we'll get that in. And we're going to get a cartridge in here, and that's it. We'll let it go home, and that's it. So now our AR is ready to do some laser training. So, ready to rock. Let's talk a little bit about what is so great about this thing. 
So, uh, you don't have time to get out to the range as often as you'd like. And you want to get some more practice in. You want to work on your draw, you want to work on your presentation, you want to work on your trigger control, your trigger press, your sight acquisition, your sight picture. All of these things you now have the ability to do from the comfort of your own home just by grabbing one of these guys. Now, the price on these things are not bad at all. Um, for what you're going to spend on a kit like this is equivalent to probably what I would spend to go shooting and do a bunch of handgun drills in one day at the shooting range. So, to be honest, uh, you're going to make your money back on this probably the first one or two times that you use it that you don't have to make that trip out to the range and use all that ammo. So you've got a whole bunch of benefits just by being able to grab something like this and work it at home and work on all the fundamentals that are going to translate to you being a better shooter out there on the range. So what I would say to you is if this is something that you think you would be interested in I would say don't hesitate at all go out and grab one of these guys um, they're great for practicing now this laser pet is only one of a series of items that laser ammo has for you to practice um, they have all kinds of different products to help you out there and this is just one of them so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you learned a little bit of something and until next time, get out there, keep shooting, and we'll see you in the next video.